welcome to Gone With Film. Today I want to share one of the more interesting cameras for my collection. This is a Polaroid 110 Pathfinder. It's a rangefinder camera that was made by the Polaroid Corporation. It was one of the first Polaroid cameras that were ever made. What's unique about this specific camera is that it was converted to use the Instax wide film. The original film that this camera used is no longer made. So I converted it to use the more easily available Instax wide film. So how does this work? When you want to take a photo, you first focus using the rangefinder over here. You line up the rangefinder spot inside. Then you frame your photo over here and take the photo using the release over here. The film ejects from the bottom and to eject the film, just hit the switch on the left and turn the crank. And here you go, you get your photo. You can change the shutter speeds and apertures over here. And that allows you to control your whole exposure and focus. Basically, all photographic related controls are on the camera, which is much better than what is available currently on any Fujifilm Instax camera. The camera allows me to control what I want so I could get the images what I want. If you like Instax film, a rangefinder that's converted to use Instax is one of the most fun cameras to shoot. Here's a few samples of the photos that I took. I mostly used it to take pictures of my family. I brought this everywhere. I brought it to, through weddings and I've also given a lot of the prints to my friends and they like it. The Instax film is like magic. It's really fun to see people's eyes light up every time they see their picture come out of the instant film. It's really one of the more fun and uh, exciting cameras to shoot. It's a camera that makes people smile. Of course, it's not perfect. It's a rangefinder, so the framing won't always be perfect. Instax film is great. It's ISO 800, but the main problem is it has a very limited dynamic range. I'd estimate the dynamic range to be a, around five stops. So when the light changes, or when you're not metering correctly, you might have a few problems with your exposure. But still, I like how the pictures turned out. It's really been fun shooting this, and it's really been memorable. And I hope that uh, by sharing this, you'd also get some inspiration on how to have a similar camera like this. There's a lot of people making conversions like this. You can also do it yourself, such as in my case. So uh, I'm just sharing what are the possibilities when you have a, a camera like this as opposed to the more regular Fujifilm Instax models. That's it for the camera. Uh, as for the conversion, this conversion uses the Bell Air back from Lomography. If you want one, well, this back is now discontinued, but I would suggest that you reorder one of the backs from uh, Lomography.com. There's a new version that they're making. It also uses Instax wide film, but it has a graph lock back that attaches to other large format cameras. It will probably roughly fit the size of the back of this camera here. But uh, just to give you an idea how I made this, first I had to cut the body of the Polaroid camera. You can see at the back here, the old part is still on, but I kept it there. When I made it, I had to cut it off. After I cut the body and I made sure it was flat, I made it the back. I had to prepare the back, made sure it's also flat then I had to make sure they are flush with each other. I used a combination of screws and adhesives to attach the back. I attached a piece of wood at the bottom to add additional reinforcements just to make sure that the back doesn't come off the body for some reason. After that, I moved the front standard. The place where the film sits moves a little further back. I had to move this a little bit further back. Uh, so you can see here in the close-up, the front standard has been moved back. I just used epoxy to attach it. Once it was in position, I had to calibrate what you call the infinity focus of the camera. And once uh, done, uh, I was able to use it uh, without much adjustment. I also had to move this viewfinder. Though it was a bit forward here, but uh, I moved it back just to make sure that the framing is correct. So that's basically all the things I did for the conversion. 
this was one of my first uh, conversion projects and I've done several more. If you're interested in how Instax conversions are made, uh, put them in the comments. I might make a slightly longer video on how to do those. I also have several Instax conversions that I've made after this, uh, which are more complicated. This one is an Instax 300 that has a custom lens. And this one is my Mamiya RB67 with an Instax wide back. The way to convert them was a bit uh, different. If you have any questions about conversions, just put them down in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. So I hope this video has been helpful for you and fun. If it's been helpful, please do like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps the channel out much. And until then, see you on the next video.